What's up y'all, this is Mitchell here with another logic tutorial. This tutorial is going to be over reverse delay and reverse reverb. Um, this way of doing it can be put to, to both, to both uses, either reverse delay or re reverse reverb. So um, let's get right into it. As you can see, I have a audio file here that I stole from logic's uh, looping section. Um, it is the most bouse audio file that I could find. So here it is. Pump it up. Uh, pump it up, son. So that's what we have to work with, all right? So uh, the basic idea of this is we are going to reverse this audio file. Then we are going to add reverb or delay, whatever you want, or a combination of both. And then we are going to bounce it in place and then we are going to reverse it back and the final effect should be a more of a reverse delay reverse reverb whatever you want to call it alright so let's get right into it first of all like I said we need to reverse the track and to do that I'm going to double click it and up, up pops the sample editor now what I want you to do is have, go to functions and there is a reverse option and as we'll listen to the track see what it sounds like so, awesome, right? Reversing tracks. Woo. So, um, now what we're going to do, this is the step where we add our delay and we add our reverb. I'm going to do a combination of both because I am a boss. Yes. Alright, so, delay. We'll do, oh, what should we do? Guys, what should we do? Tape delay? Alright, let's try some tape delay. Sure, it sounds beautiful. All right, let's add some reverb to it now. A verb, yeah, sure. So let's see what that sounds like. We can add that. We can put a little bit more on that. All right, there. That sounds decent. All right, now that we have our delay and our reverb on our reverse reverse track, now we're going to bounce it in place. And to do that, there is a bounce regions button up here in the top right corner. I'm going to have you click that. Make sure your track is highlighted, your audio file is highlighted. And I'm going to call this lyric reverse if I could spell right. Now, I want you to have new track selected and mute the source which is muting this audio file right here and make sure that you have checked include audio trail tail in file and include audio tail in region make sure both of those are checked or this will not work All right. so I'm going to have you press OK and it will give us a new uh, track down here with our new delay um, new audio file All right. now the final step is to reverse this back I'm going to double click it, come down here to functions again, and reverse. And now the final effect should be a reverse sound. All right, let's give it, let's give it a shot. See what it sounds like. Not bad, not bad. I could probably take down that delay on this track a little bit. Uh, make it not as harsh so it doesn't sound like he's actually saying it twice. Um, there is a bit of a learning curve to this. Uh, the, the more you do it, the better it will sound, obviously, just like with anything you do. But um, you want the longer reverbs and the longer the delays for more of an ambient um, uh, flowing sound. And if you want a very deliberate uh, reverse reverb or reverse delay, I would say make it shorter and more harsh. Uh, so there's a couple tips on how to make these. Um, that is the overall strategy, I guess, in doing these. It's really not too hard, and it is a great effect in a lot of songs. So everyone, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, please comment, rate, subscribe as usual. And I'm going to throw this in here really quickly, but if you have any ideas on future videos for me to do, if you have any questions, if you there's like not videos out there that over a certain topic hit me up I'll try to if I don't know it learn it and then show you um, 
But yeah, hit me up, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this. Have a great day.